Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the finishing touches on the little mini junk journal that I have been working on, the fairy flutter and flower journal. So I have this um, last signature to sew in and when we sew that in I'm going to sew it into this card and I am going to use band-aid gigantic band-aid <laughs> uh, tape that I have in my stash as protective covering here and then we'll go ahead and This just gives it some more strength and it is an item that I have in my stash. It was gifted to me and um, so I'm using it. Oh, we still have black glittery glitter. It's everywhere. It's like, <laughs> it's like horrible. <laughs> I love glitter, but it's everywhere. Okay, so that is our one fold, and then we're going to go ahead and fold it and make our other fold. Okay. So, I'm not measuring it. Um... I should. Okay, I should measure it in. <laughs> I should measure. Okay, so I have my, okay. So this side, we're gonna be cutting some off after we figure out what our fold is gonna be. Okay, we need to have at least So we can use our scoring tool to go ahead and work in our fold, our second fold line. And we are making our own little binding right there, our own little binding. So let's measure our little binding. It is just over, oh, just under half an inch. So, seven sixteenths. Whatever that is, that's how much we're going to cut off the back piece. that we're as straight as possible and bring down the cut okay and that is going to be our little our book okay now a um, couple of things we do want to decorate the inside of this I have used all of my 12 by 12 paper um, Can I use that? Ah, how about another card? <laughs> Why not? Because we, you know, we've got, we have it. So we'll cut that 
and okay we put this on the mark okay so that is on the mark get the cutter out of the way so we don't want to accidentally cut it and we'll score it easier to see from the, the plain side okay so there we go and there we go that is going to be our cover now we are going to use fabric tack because of the amazing bandage we'll put a lot on where the bandage is and it just lay it down I'm going to hold this for a little bit while it dries. And that's going to be our inside. I like it. I do, I do. So these were the cards that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, their sale course you know something that you go oh, wow I really like these they're all gone you know they're discontinued <laughs> yeah that never happens does it okay so I have another little thing that I saved aside Put a pocket on the inside of our little journal. So um, we're going to be doing this backwards because I'm going to do a tutorial on how to um, how to make the base of this. See how we're doing as far as being able to to bend. So that's one of the things that happens sometimes. Is it? There we go. Okay. So we'll be able to flatten it out. Yes. Yes. Look, it's like a real little book. <laughs> Okay, um, well I had a cool little thing to put in here as a pocket and 
Oh, did you hear me? My, I'm still wheezing. I have like all these medicines now to take. Okay. Pretty glossy. We don't want glossy. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use from the whole kit. We have, um, we're going to find us an image to put on the front. An image to put on the front. This is the tag page. That's probably a good place to find our image for the front. from the, the other page that's might be a good page for that image would be the journal page or the pocket and tuck page. So this is the pocket and tuck page. And There we go. The journal card page. And we will use my favorite, the rose. So there's that. Go with uh, Cuba. I'm just going to go ahead and glue the back of this using the bottom of my Tombow Mono liquid glue. I'm going to put it at an angle. And then Come in and <laughs> it's hard to rip. I'm holding with my left hand, ripping with my right. So that the ripped paper shows up on the top. And here also. it too big. Okay. 
put this on the cover. That will be our cover. I may come back and add some other items, but for right now, that is our cover. And I thought we had another piece. We do. Okay. It's like I thought we had another piece of this that we could use. Now, the cover, the inside cover, is this also. So it might be kind of better to just, I don't know, should be. Use it in the back. We can use a small pocket. This works. That might not be too bad. We have our pointy one. So this right here that I'm using is just um, paper, fairy book paper that I went ahead and um, I added a napkin on top of it. It's a story book and it's from the Tinkerbell, you know, the fairies that are with Tinkerbell. Okay. So there's that. Now, Too high, I think. No, I think it'll be fine. So that'll give us a pocket in the front, or a little pocket in the front, and a pocket in the back. Staying down, make sure it's staying down. Okay, then let's save these for something else. There is our cover. So to see if I see any 
real fast if I see any fairy words that should be on the cover. This is the fairy that likes to pull, make, pull pranks, so um, may not have. Ah, we have this. It says all about fairies. It says, if you head toward the second store on your right and fly straight on till morning, you'll come to Neverland, a magical island where mermaids play and children no grow, grow, never grow up. When you arrive, you might hear something like the tinkling of little bells. Follow that sound, you'll find Pixie Hollow, the secret heart of Neverland. So, we're going to go ahead and put that inside here. Kind of as a special message, mes message. You put that in that front pocket. Okay. And then here we have the All About Fairies. said I might be adding something. I knew I had something that said something about fairies. <laughs> like, what do I have? Where is it? Okay. So, all about fairies. There we go. And... I think we're dry and we're ready. We're ready. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we're going to take this center piece here and have it be a signature and it's huge. I kept adding things and adding things. We have our rose fairies are the very center. Okay. We'll push put these down into our envelope journal. Start by putting them in. Okay. Top and bottom with the with the paper clip. Okay. Then we're gonna come over here. We're going to line this up into the center. You know what? I think we'll go ahead and actually use... This is my binding kit. I do have a piece of... Oh, we'll use this. This is um, from wallpaper or contact paper. So a three hole. Oh, we'll make our make our own. That's not straight.
Okay, so I have it from the size of the cover. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. We don't have any really little, we have little papers, but not nothing really little. So I think we can do um, three. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. Fold it in half this way. That will be our center hole. Come up to here. That will be our other one. And then I'm going to go ahead and come up, fold up. If I have um, graph paper, I will count the squares. If I don't have graph paper, then I will measure it this way. Because like, if you go like this and you go to the center of here, it's going to be right here. And you're going to have all this area that could be flimsy and floppy so I think we're good and so first we're going to come over here and I'm going to mark it because this has a um, flat bind here so I think it's going to be easier to just come in and mark it Pull it in a little, mark it, two, three, and mark the top, okay? So this is our top. So even if those are out of whack, um, if it's, as long as you do the top with the top, you're good, okay? Um, then we're going to come over here. This is a little different because it's going to hang out a little bit on each end. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it with the pin from the binding kit. <laughs> I need to grab some more push pins and put them in my drawer. I've got, I do have one in the binding kit. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to just, rather than mark this with a pen and then you would see it, I'm just going to go ahead and mark it small to start with. Come back out and, oh, that's pretty easy actually. So, what we're going to have happen now is if this was a one signature then um, with a fold, then I would just fold it and put this on here. But this one has to be bound like a book because I put a flat um, spine on it, which I'm really excited about actually. Okay, so we're going to go down the center. You guys have seen me bind books more this week than than in a long time. Okay, so we have to open this to find the hole. So we're gonna go back through, and I I have the small needle this time, so it's being nice. Oh, do you see what I did? I forgot to go through. I forgot to go through. Okay, it's all good. Just go through. Okay, so we have to go, <laughs> that's why I don't bind on camera anymore. Um, so we'll go through and then go through the hole here. Oh, we didn't put a hole. Remember, we just, <laughs> we just marked it. So let's put a hole and put a hole. I love the way this looks. Okay. There's the needle. I can hear it, but I couldn't see it. Okay. 
So make sure that you're facing, this is the top, this is the top. I'm gonna go through here. If you have trouble, go ahead and put the pin through next to your needle. Come over. You know what might be kind of fun? Is to put some beads on the outside here. And maybe, 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 even. Nah, I was going to say we could put a charm on it. I always forget. I always want to put beads on and always forget. But I remembered. So we're going to go back through the cover, through the spine, and then come up here, find that hole, go through that hole, back into the center of the journal. It's not really the center on this one, but usually it would be the center. It just happens that... And then I'm going to pull, pull this and come down underneath the string here. That's how I like to do it. Come out. Okay, we're going to pull this string out of the way. Can you see that? And go under that string as well. Try not to grab any of the string. Okay. Pull our string through. Then we're going to come down to the bottom hole. Almost home free, you guys. Should we do some more? Do we have any more? What do we got? Orange. Pink. through the hole, pull the pearls so that they will sit where they need to be, come back, we're going to go through the bottom hole of the journal, up. Okay, now we're going to tighten everything. Make sure we're all nice and tight. and tight. That's nice and tight. Okay. 
good and tight there. Good and tight there. Up. And tight, and then we're going to just tie it in a double knot. Go ahead and what do we have any beads left? On one, we'll put some beads. <laughs> eh, I can't see. There we go. Blue, orange. Oh, no, it's supposed to be. Oh well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's a totally different thing here. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it around the last one. Okay, and then we'll tie it. And that will be... that and then we have this one and I can go ahead and hang the little butterfly charm that we made That'll hang off the bottom. There we go. And so that will be our little binding. We have the beads on the outside. We have these on the center. Let's go ahead. This is the third signature here. And I think we'll go ahead and just tie it in a bow. We'll come up to the first signature. So there's three signatures inside five envelopes. So my last journal, I put little notebooks throughout the journal to give more writing space. And this, by the seat of my pants, because I was just going to make a little tiny mini journal, <laughs> like a little tiny mini journal, um, and I asked <laughs> what everybody wanted to see. I think this needs... I hope this works. Whoop, not that one. Not that one. I can see what I want, but I can't grab it. There. So one side will be an orange butterfly. And the other side will be blue.
Yes, I drew a butterfly. <laughs> okay, so this is our little fairy journal. And um, we have a few more things that we can add into it if we have spots for them. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Okay, put these out of the way. I threw those away. <laughs> okay, so this is our cover. I will, I'm going to go ahead and see what I've got for, um, for a closure. And we have All About Fairies. This is using the journaling kit, the mini book part of the journaling kit from Dear Julie Julie, and then also one of the journaling cards. And I used the fairy book, um, pieces of the fairy book. So we have a three hole pamphlet stitch holding the journal into our little bound book. It is made with five envelopes and three signatures. So let's go ahead and open it up. We have our little pocket. We just added this little thing that says if you head toward the second star, star on the right and fly till morning, fly straight till morning. That's from Peter Pan. So we have the napkin page. And we have this little pocket here. This was one of the um, envelope pockets. And we've just put a little note paper, package of note paper in there. So this looks like it needs something. Hmm. None of that works. Okay, so we have a fussy cut flower here. Turn this, we have another envelope pocket with this um, inside. That's from the wrapping paper. We have a little note paper here and a little tiny tuck flip and a ticket. Places to write, lots of places to write. Here's one of the images from, and these are all images from the, um, the kit. Here is our pansy image. And over here we have some washi tape, some stenciling. We have our double nickels. <laughs> uh, $2 worth of nickels. And a little matchstick notepad in there. We decided we wanted it to be in. We have the little, little Lily of the Valley. Um, actually, this is Lily. And with one of the butterfly cutouts. We have this card here. And we still have a charm left. So let's go ahead and we'll put the charm there. This is Aster. And um, so we'll put Aster on here. She'll just be hanging around. We have a napkin tag on all of this is on ledger paper. Some more stenciling. We have one of the fairy stamped and fairy wishes. A little tiny paper clip holding, also holding on a little flower cutout. This is a flip of the rose image, similar to the one on the cover. Some more stenciling. More washi tape. We have one of the hearts with a little tag that you can write on the back with the resurgence of the fluffy flower. Fluffy flowers are back. These are the rose fairies and they are the center of the first signature. Here is some more washi tape stenciling. Here's a flip up using the wrapping paper. And there is a pocket here, little pocket. And it has this little 
paper in it. Yay! With some washi tape down the side, and that is on ledger paper, so you're able to write on here and on here and on the back. Then we have some more stenciling and washi tape. We have a flat paper clip, and it is holding this little card here that has a little, okay, so this one flips down and up and it's got all that in it. So this holds it closed <laughs> and it lives in there. So there are eight fairies featured in this kit. Um, here's So those are pansies there. We have a little tag. It's just some more writing space. Down here, um, some decoupage. Uh, napkin, may all your dreams come true. Here's Daisy. More stenciling, stenciling. Here is Poppy. And... Um, then on this page we have Little Rose and it says Giggle and we have a tuck spot and this is one of the envelopes and inside this envelope we have some forget-me-nots because forget-me-nots is where they have the fairy nursery so we need to plant some forget-me-nots so that the, the fairy babies can fare well, fare thee well. So we have a napkin pocket or napkin side tuck here with some pretty note paper. Here is um, pansies. This is this is pansy. <laughs> and um, it's another flat paper clip. On this side, it is holding one of these pretty note papers over some ledger. And on this side, it has one of the um, napkin tags. Here we have a collage. It says bright. And it is also a pocket on this side. So we can just put that right in there. We've got some stenciling, some more stenciling, lots of lots of places to write. And then we have one of the note papers with the flower. We have one of the pretty little place cards and a little tag. And this is a little flip up pocket. Here we have a napkin pocket with a napkin tag and just a little fold out of pretty note paper. Some more stenciling. There's Aster. And then we have a little, this is the center signature that we just put in. So we added the beads and the butterfly to that. We have the little pocket, says wise, and it's got a little tiny um, rose. Uh, card stuck in here. More stenciling. Another pocket paper that has the purple paper. We have one card left. And let me just go ahead and cut that. And we'll put it right in there. And then we have a flip out here. That's from the note paper. Some more stenciling. Some more note paper, note paper, a ledger paper edge um, or border tuck, and then a little note card. The Fairy Visions paper, ledger paper, and it's holding, um, we have the little fairy soap ad here with another um, fluffy flower. This page is folded over um, the ledger paper, and we have a card here and another note paper here. More stenciling. Here's Lily. We have another one of the wrapping paper, paper tucks in here. Paper tuck, paper tag. 
We have Poppy, a Poppy charm on this little tag. So you can write there or add a picture or something. We have another fussy cut flower. We have a tag here and it's holding a butterfly charm. It says cozy and it's a tag. And then there's also a little tiny piece there. There's the little rose on a on her bicycle and tag and a little pocket. Some more stenciling. Another fairy with a card being held by one of those little tiny paper clips. Another flower. The washi tape embellishment here that says sing. Some stenciling. This is Cassie the cornflower fairy and the little uh, butterflies and we have a tag that comes out here some washi tape another um, tuck with a tag this is the center of the third signature stenciling another heart with a tag more stenciling there's uh, pansy and some more stenciling. Another one of the ticket paper clips. And it's holding one of the pretty note papers. We've got washi tape down the side. The tag here. Some more stenciling. I used the 50 pennies um, penny roll as a belly band. And that just... I made that into a tag that folds over it. We have a top tuck here with the one of the napkin tags. And then we have a large uh, pocket in the back. So that is our little fairy journal. And for right now, we'll go ahead and close it with this purple ribbon that came on Oh, I like it. We'll just probably close it with this purple ribbon because it will be fine. Okay. So that is our little fairy envelope journal. It will be available in my Etsy shop. And um, I love the beads on the outside. I think it turned out really fun. Stay tuned. Um, and we will have a video of how to make the base for this journal and um i think it was really kind of cool it's again it's five envelopes and then several papers and then the digital kit the mini book digital kit from fairies flutter and flowers digital kit in the dear julie julie etsy shop so take a moment real quick and you know I did cut out I cut a piece of one of the pages but this is what is in that journal kit and so you get the this is the tiny ephemera so all kinds of ephemera you get the journal page remember we stole one of those you have a tag page you have this is part of the the mini journal page so you get four sets of two pages another four sets of two pages and then two more pages and then the little tiny ephemera to use okay oh that's the same thing as this only on cardstock <laughs> oops um you get the large page that you can use in a journal you get the cut apart so this can be either a page of butterflies or you can cut all these butterflies out and use them. This is the pocket and um, pocket and card page. So there's other pockets that you can use. This has um, tags and tucks so you can just fold these here and they become the tucks. And you've got the large fairy soap. Uh, you get the print. So that you can print on the back and then these are the side-by-side -side pages and um, so you get all eight fairies and 
some other images. So here's Lily. And there's Aster. This is the Fairy Visions music page with the butterfly collage. There's Poppy. We have Rose and Little Rose. We have Pansy and Cassie the Cornflower Fairy. And Daisy. Okay, so you get all those in one kit. One digital kit. And it's available in the Etsy shop um, for immediate download. And then also I did add the Old Fashioned Love Songs which you get a collage page, a journal page, nine full-size song sheets, as well as four side-by-side -side sheets. And, um, yeah, so both of those are available now in my Etsy shop, along with All About Fairies little mini envelope book. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the videos that we did making this. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. If you have, um, yeah, don't forget to like and find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe or subscribe and have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.